I went a little Fenty crazy. It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm doing a full face of Fenty. I really want to do more of these full face of one brand makeup videos. But in order to do that, sometimes I may have to <laughs> buy some products and I um definitely bought a lot of this stuff. I have quite a bit of Fenty already, but there was definitely some stuff that I needed to be able to create a full face. So yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff. So I got the new What It Do setting spray. It looks like I did it. And then I got this little duo of these minis. It's got the fly liner and an eye primer in there. I'm super excited to try the eyeliner. Everybody always says amazing things about it. And I thought, why not go ahead and pick up this one that has a little eye primer in it too. I got one of the little snap eyeshadow palettes. The one I got is Seven Cadet, which looks like this. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this. Oh, it definitely wore the right color too. Hey. I didn't even think about that. I got some of the matchsticks because they were on sale for like $12.50, which I wouldn't have bought them for full price because I haven't heard amazing things about them, but I have been curious about them. So I bought three of them. I got Chili Mango, Almond Fur Contour, and Yacht Life. I love the names. They're so freaking adorable. So these kind of click together which i think is super cute i don't know i really like that it's so cute i also did order the new cream bronzers and blushes but they're not here yet i've been waiting on them since the day that they got released i ordered on release day um hi <laughs> this is me from the next day after i filmed this i got the creams literally <laughs> the next day after i filmed that so just filmed another video using these all cream products if you guys want to see that, it'll be up on my channel soon. And then I got this Christmas bulb with two mini lipsticks in it. <laughs> this has been on the sale page on Sephora since before Christmas, obviously. I'm not 100% sure why I bought this, but I did want to try her lipstick formula. I have her liquid lipsticks, these ones. I have some, oh my gosh, there's hair on it. I have the gloss. So I just got the mini so I could try out the formula. And these are actually really cute colors. So I'm super excited about trying these out. Although they are like uh, the tiniest little things. But it's fine because I got them on sale for like $9, I think, or something. Also, I just really love minis. So I don't mind that they're small because I can put these in my purse too. And also, um, I just love minis. I talked about that in one of my recent videos. I'm 100% gonna reuse this and use this as a DIY little Christmas bulb for my Christmas tree this year. Yeah, that's happening. Cause why let it go to waste? But then obviously I have my other products. So I have foundation, the powder, I have a little mini sample of the mascara, highlighter, bronzer. I didn't get a primer. <laughs> but we do have this uh, spray so we can use this as like a primer. So I'm gonna use this. I don't like the lid on this. The lid on this feels really cheap. I don't know. There's just something, it doesn't, ugh, it's weird. But the spray though, ooh, girl, she fine. Feels so good. I was like, okay, that's enough. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, it feels so good. Like my face feels like so like refreshed. That is a good mist right there. That's a good mist. Also, it does say you can use it before, during, or after your makeup application. It says do not inhale. <laughs> I have no idea if this palette's gonna have fallout. So let's go ahead and do the eyes first. So I'm gonna take that little mini duo thingy thing thing thing. All of her packaging has that soft matte and it's just, ugh, it's nice. So this is the eye primer, and even though this is like a mini, eye primers last so long, so I'm not mad at it at all. Let's see what this is like here. Hello? Give me product. I don't know if this is because this is like a mini or what's going on here, but it's kind of hard to like get this product out. Okay, okay, okay. Smooth. Hydrating. It's a clear base, which totally makes sense because she makes everything for everyone's smart smart I like a tinted eyeshadow base, but I get it and it does have like that slight tiny bit of tackiness Brush 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 brush
Here's a close-up of the palette that I have. Sorry, it's upside down really, but so here's a close-up of the palette. It's got this nice deep, it's not quite black, it's like a dark, 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 dark gray. It's almost black. This beautiful transition shade, these kind of like khaki green, and then this mustard yellow, bronzy, and then this white gold. Ooh, yes, it's so beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting sticky. Okay, we gotta hurry because it's getting sticky, sticky. Oh my gosh, what do I wanna do? Well, I guess I'll go with the more yellow stuff because I'm wearing yellow, so I think I'm gonna go in with like this area. This would make, oh, I love this. You could get a couple different looks out of this. This is so cute. You could like stick to this area or you could stick to this. I like this. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow one first. So it's pigmented, blending nice so far. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't mind the lash glue in my crusty, nasty lashes. This is a beautiful mustard shade. Ooh, I freaking love that. So far the eyeshadow primer seems to like doing really good. It's really grabbing the product to stick it down, but you're also easily able to blend at the same time. It's so pretty. I'm gonna keep going because I love yellow right now. It's weird because like yellow used to be my least favorite color ever. Like I was like, yellow, no. But all of a sudden this year, I'm like, yes, give me all things yellow. Yellow is beautiful. This would be a beautiful fall eyeshadow palette. Yes. Now I'm gonna go in with this green. Well, it's not really a green, it's like a brown green. It's like a green tinted brown. I don't know, is that making any sense? <laughs> the nice thing about these are that like, they're pigmented, but you do have to build them up. I kind of like the way that they're building. It's like just the perfect amount. It's not overwhelming at all. These are really, really user friendly. Even though I'm like, I'm actually going in pretty, pretty hard. So the fact that when you go in there, it's still not like super, overwhelming but like you the more you pat it in the deeper it gets like it builds really nicely and it's still pigmented you know what i mean like oh that is a good eyeshadow formula i like that and i'm not getting really like any fallout which is really nice fenty oh my god they be killing it i am like really amazed at how good this is i don't know if it's the combination of with the primer or what but i'm really glad that i got that primer because i feel like it is definitely helping I don't know, like everything's sticking down really nicely on its, oh, that is so beautiful. Now we're gonna use the white gold. The shade looks so pretty, oh my God. I'm gonna use a brush first and see how it goes. I typically use shimmers with my fingers anyways, just because I feel like they do better that way, but let's just see what you can do with a brush. Oh my God. <laughs> I did not expect, I did not expect that. Holy crap. What? This normally doesn't happen. Wow. Oh my God, I'm just, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? I mean, I know people talked about these when they first came out, but why aren't people still talking about them? I need more of these. These are so good. Y'all, I was not ready for that. I was not. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my God. Stop it right freaking out. Oh my God. Y'all, I, I, I really, really, <laughs> really am obsessed with this i definitely got some fallout from the shimmer i'm gonna try my finger too though i really want to see what it looks like with my finger also beautiful i am so glad i chose this one because like this is definitely my kind of color story like i love these kind of colors oh i accidentally put my finger in that one <laughs> obviously it works great with your finger but i'm gonna go ahead and finish out with the brush because my nails be getting in the way. I'm not really sure why, but this one looks more yellow than this one. I don't know what I did. Maybe the yellow got on there somehow. Just kind of brush over it with this brush a little bit. There we go. Now it's more yellow. These are not patchy what so freaking ever. Okay, we need to move on. I think you guys get the point. Now for the eyeliner. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. Everybody talks so many good things about this. Oh yes. Oh, that feels nice. Oh, the point is great. Oh my, you guys, incredible. You can get like a super tiny, tiny line. Nice. Oh my god, this looks amazing. And, oh, thank you. You can put the end on there. Mm. It really is the little things that count because if you lose that lid, no more eyeliner. 
My absolute favorite, favorite liquid liner that I've ever tried is the Hink and Henry Slick With It Blickety Black Eyeliner because it has such a incredibly fine point and it's so easy to control. But this one looks really fine as well. I think the difference is that this is a felt tip and this is a brush tip. So I'm really interested to see how this is going to work because usually felt tips are not this pointy and I'm really interested to see how long the felt tip point sticks around because I feel like after you're using it so many times, a lot of times they end up either breaking off or they like kind of bend, they like act weird, you know? So that will be interesting to see over time. I guess we're going for a very large wing today. That is incredibly black. Fenty is queen, I stand. That was so easy and fast. Rihanna really is that bitch. I feel like I've been missing out and I'm salty. The best black felt tip liquid liner I've ever used in my entire life. Up until this moment, I was in love with the Benefit one. No, 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 no. I doesn't even touch this. Still love my Hank and Henry because it is a brush tip, which is nice. If the point on this one keeps up, if it holds up, this is definitely gonna, this is, this is, it's gonna replace it. I know, I just said it. I'm gonna use the uh, Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation. I have the shade 120. And we're gonna put this on. I really like this foundation. Some people say it's like too hydrating dewy, but I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Cause I'm like, give me all the hydration I could possibly get. And I'm gonna use a sponge to blend it out. Shop Miss A. Listen, I can't tell you guys enough how amazing this sponge is. I was literally, before I was filming, I was like sitting here just like squishing it. <laughs> While I was watching some RuPaul's Drag Race, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just, it's nice. It's so nice. It feels so good. Oh my god, I just really good for it to like zoom you guys back out. <laughs> that liner is so black. Oh my god, it looks so good. This foundation is definitely just like a medium coverage, but for me, I like a medium coverage. Like, that's what I like in a foundation anyway, so I don't even care. I don't really feel like you can build it up to super full coverage. I feel like it's like almost full coverage when you build it up, especially if you use a brush. But that's fine with me, like I don't really need full coverage anyways. I just remembered that I don't have the, her concealer anymore. That is one product that I've tried that I didn't really like. I bought that concealer not long after it released the, what, like a couple of years ago now? And it is incredibly drying on me personally. She has been coming out with a lot of hydrating dewy products lately. So if we get a hydrating concealer, I will be living. Yeah, that concealer was just too matte for me. So I ended up decluttering it. So instead I'm just gonna use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. If you are looking for a drugstore concealer, I'm telling you these Revolution concealers, they're, <laughs> They're so good. Oh, I almost skipped the creams. I was gonna say powder, but we gotta do the match sticks. I don't have the most high hopes for these, but let's just see how they go. I don't know. I have the shade Almond for contour. I wonder how much is in here. That's it? What? You see that? That's all that's in there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, no, 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 no. Oh no, that's not a lot, you guys. Oh my god, thank god I bought these on sale. This is a milk bronzer, it's a mini. This is the mini size, it's like $15, I think. And this is the full size matchstick. Mm. Let's see what this looks like as a contour. I do really like the shade. She has her new cream bronzers. She has a, a contour shade in them that is also almond. Kind of wish I would have got it so I could have compared the two, but I didn't. I got my like my normal bronzer shade just so I could use it for a cream bronzer. <laughs> These come in like a billion different shades, which is cool. But, wow, I cannot believe how much product is not in there. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna use this side and blend out of this with a brush. I'm gonna use a different brush. What it do, what it do? What do, what do? I feel like I don't have enough brushes for cream. I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. 
Okay, I will say I really like this color. This color works really, 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 really well for my skin tone. The other way I'm gonna do it is like this. I'm gonna put it on the actual brush. Definitely takes a lot longer to build up. It's easier just to kind of put it on here. They're like not the creamiest in the world. They're not like super dry. I don't know, but they're they're definitely not the creamiest. It's not disturbing the foundation or anything, but I am using a Fenty foundation, so I'm sure when they formulate their products, they use them so that they work well together. But these are also brand freaking new, so I don't know how they're gonna do over time. I've heard people say that they do dry out fast, so we shall see. So here's the two shades that I got. I didn't even swatch this on my arm for you. Okay, I'll swatch all this stuff for you guys really quick here. Here's the almond contour shade. Here is the iconic Chile Mango. Oh, yeah, see, it's kind of dry a little bit. I mean, once you get it started, it's not too bad, but it really isn't the creamiest. And then this is Yacht Life. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's kind of hard to get it started. Oh my god, they're both so pretty. I think Chili Mango. Oh yeah, that is like kind of hard. That would 100% disturb foundation. I don't know about date. Let's see, fingers. Oh man, it's, yeah, that's, it's kind of dry. Oh, that takes a lot to blend out. I feel like it is kind of disturbing the foundation a little bit. The blush is definitely drier than that contour stick. I'm really excited for these contact, compact blushes. Oh my god, I cannot wait to try them. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's all right, but it's so dry. This one, the same way. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of these things right here. I'm gonna use a little bit of powder. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I have the shade Butter. This is a mini. I will say that this is the tiniest bit too uh colored for me i do better with translucent powders i think maybe she has one that's lighter than this that's like lavender i think is the shade but i went with butter because i just figured it would be okay and it is okay it's fine it like doesn't look too crazy but i do feel like it kind of tints my under eyes the tiniest bit i don't know it takes away my brightness is what i'm trying to say <laughs> i'm just gonna put this in please on my face that i feel like might need it throughout the day not too much though Let's go ahead and do the brows. I have the Fenty Beauty, obviously. Brow MVP, is that what it's called? It's kind of hard to see. It's a little bit rubbed off. This is a brow pencil that I drew in my purse when I bought it. I don't really know why. I mean, I haven't used it in a long time because I haven't left my house in a long time. But yeah, I have the shade Black Brown. It's a typical super tiny brow pencil. It has an interesting shape. It's kind of like triangular, which is what she does with all of her packaging. Uh, it's either like a triangular kind of shape or it's a hexagon kind of shape. Shape. Shake. <laughs> I'd like a shake. And the brush is like not your typical spoolie. It's like a little hairbrush looking situation. I mean, this pencil is good. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's like, go out of your way to buy it. It's nothing like groundbreaking. It's just a brow pencil, but it's awesome that they're completing their line and adding all the products that you need, like all the necessities, you know? Would you believe me if I said that I've been filming for an hour already? What the heck? <laughs> when I first started doing YouTube, I used to go so fast because I was scared about like editing like an hour long <laughs> footage. And now I just take my good old time. This brow always looks better on this side. I, 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 I don't know. They don't even look even. What the heck? I am jumping all over the place and I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna go in with the uh, powder bronzer. This is the Sunstalker bronzer. In the Sun is the shade name. And I'm just gonna add some more bronzer because I feel like I want more bronzer. The only highlighter I have from Fenty is the Diamond, or is it the Diamond? Yeah, Diamond Bomb, how many in how many carats? This one. It's like kind of got some um, little bit of different colors on there for me putting my fingers all up in it. It's nice because you can use this on your eyes too, which is why it's kind of like kind of colored. And I will like dab it onto my eyeshadow and it'll kind of add like little sparkle. Oh my. Bulge. I feel like it's a very going out kind of highlighter because it's a lot of just like shimmers. Does that make sense? I say does that make sense so much in my videos? It's so annoying. Does that make sense? 
Also, another great thing about this highlighter is it literally works on anyone because it has no color base. I'm just gonna quickly go back into the eyeshadow palette, grab the mustard yellow, and run it underneath my lash line. And then the darker color as well, just a little bit here on the outer like half. This is just a little trial size that I got for free when I ordered from Sephora. And this is the only um, mascara that Fenty has. It's pretty new still, I, I feel like it's new. I don't know, what does new even mean anymore? Three weeks? I don't know. <laughs> but it's got a really interesting brush, it's like flat. You see that? Does it necessarily help? Um, we'll see, I think the idea is that you're supposed to use the flat side first to kind of get the product on there and then you flip it to the longer side to kind of like spread it and do the lengthening, you know what I mean? Like volumizing on the flat, lengthening on the long side, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> and it's gonna be kind of hard just to show you guys like what this looks like because I have the winged liner on. I love that they're trying to be innovative with the brush, but I kind of feel like it's a little bit awkward to use. Like it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Like you almost feel like when you're using the flat side, it, it feels wrong. The mascara itself looks really nice. It's building up nicely. It's kind of weird because I keep looking at the brush to try to find the longer side. So the brush itself is it's kind of weird. I'm not really a fan of it. For me, mascara should be like super effortless to apply because pretty much almost every woman knows how to apply mascara. Like we all already have our own technique and way that we apply mascara. So like this is making me have to like slow down and stop and try to like think about the brush. Whereas normally when I'm putting a mascara on, it's like a no brainer. Just you know, just do my thing. But this one, I kind of have to like stop and be like, wait, wait, that's what I'm using. The mascara itself looks great. Don't really like the brush. Yeah, I'm gonna try to use this white gold as an inner corner highlight. I don't know if it's gonna be too dark. No, 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 that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Ooh, give me some of my damn. Give me some of my damn, give me some of my damn. Look at that, <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Um, I'm sorry, but I need lashes. I'll put them on last, I'll put them on last. That way you guys can see the full look without lashes. And then at the end, I'll put the lashes on. I love these so much. They're beautiful. This is my, per like personally, this is like one of my perfect nudes. And this is the perfect red in the entire world. Oh my God, so good. And then these glosses, don't even, don't even get me started on the glosses. They're perfection as well. Now let's try these lipstick tubes. So the shades that I have here are Spanked <laughs> and Grisde Grisdella? Griselda. Griselda? Is that one of those evil stepsisters in Cinderella? Is it? I'm not really sure. Spanked. Ooh. Griselda. Burgundy, maroony kind of color. I'm gonna try on this one. I think it looks better with the look, although I might change it. Super pigmented. Nice and creamy. <laughs> so fast because they're so pigmented. That's really nice. I like these. Oh. Why don't more people talk about the lipsticks? Doesn't really go with the look though, so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do red because I just can't help myself. These can be messy, but you definitely have to like take the excess off because it's just, it's so pigmented, you don't need a lot. And then these applicate, oh my God, I gotta stop talking. What I was gonna say is that the applicators always tickle my lip. <laughs> They're just so fuzzy. Is this side too high? It's fine, whatever. Nope, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna mess with it. I messed with it. All right, guys, here's the finished look without lashes. And here's the look with lashes. Okay, listen, I stan Fenty Beauty, okay? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to set my face. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Yeah. They did that. Could be a little dewier. The most dewy, but maybe that's good for some people. I like my stuff real dewy, so. <laughs> Look, Fenty Beauty is so amazing. Everything is worth trying. I mean, I don't really like the matchsticks, but I feel like everything else was at least worth the try. I, I mean, the contour was all right. And for me, some of the standout products are the liquid lipstick, obviously. Hello. These little snap eyeshadow. Oh. Y'all already saw me, that's, that's great. The eyeliner, I love the bronzer. I know I didn't talk about it too much, but I really, really love this bronzer. It was in my 2019 favorites. Those were my favorites, but everything else was so good. Of course, minus the matchsticks. I am so excited for the future of Fenty. 
for the future of Fenty. There's so many Fs. <laughs> I love these little snap shadows, but I'm really excited to see if they do try to come out with more eyeshadows down in the li down the line, down the line. <laughs> like maybe a little bit bigger palettes. I know they've done a couple palettes in the past and they weren't really they weren't really hits on uh, in the makeup line, but it will be really interesting to see if they give it a try again another time. I mean, this this was freaking phenomenal i love this i don't have another one to show you guys but these actually do snap together that's why they're called like the snap shadows so you can buy more than one and they they go together which is a super cool innovative thing like i really like how fenty does their stuff their packaging is innovative but not too over the top like they try stuff but they don't do anything crazy that's like girl what are you doing and I really appreciate that because they keep it fresh. I'm sure you guys didn't need to see this video to already know that Fenty is really good, but I wanted to try out some new stuff from them. And I'm glad that I was able to get some of these. I feel like a little bit my life has changed because now I feel like I stand Fenty even harder now. I already loved Fenty before, but geez. Like, wow, that was so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not already, I would really appreciate it if you considered subscribing to my channel. I put out videos every week. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!